Ooh. Damn, I have some cool angles. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, are we recording? <laughs> well then. Every couple day update. Do 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 do. Every couple day update. Do 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 do. Every couple day update. Do 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 do. Diddle do, diddle do. Can you believe I used to sing? Ooh. Um, what's happening, y'all? What's up? No, really, what's happening? Stop this and leave a message right now in the comments. What's happening? What are you doing? Who are you? Where are you from? What's your story? Why are you watching this shit? Are you a friend? Are you an enemy? Are you just like stalking me, trying to figure out where I'm at, what I'm doing? What time it is? What parking lot I'm parked in? Is that what you're trying to figure out? Because guess what? I'm not going to be there by the time this airs. By the time it uploads, I'm going to be the fuck out of here. Ha! Now what are you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? Do do ba do do ba do do ba do. What you going to do? What you going to do? Do do ba do do ba do do ba do do ba. Um, my fucking shelving unit fell apart in the back. Uh, the backest one. There's two. There's the big one that holds all my clothes, and then there's the small one that is like a uh, custom fit in and around the wheel well to make shelves for shit to go on. Which, after I got it all put back together, I realized I don't have anything to go on this shelf. It's just empty. And, um, yes, I don't know what to put there. A, uh, so that was a good old waste of time. I went into Uptown at Walmart because uh, I went into Walmart at Uptown. Dyslexica. Ching. Dyslexica. It's like dyslexia, but it only happens once in a while. Not every time. Dyslexica. Do you have dyslexica? Ask your doctor today. Huh. I mean, ask your today doctor. Huh. I mean, no, I meant it. I don't know what I mean. Who cares? As long as you understand the message. That's all that matters. Whether it's frontwards or backwards or up or down, left, right, crossways, inner, outer. It don't matter. And people need to chill the fuck out with being grammar Nazis and correcting everybody all the time for, for everything. This is a constant correction going on in the world. And uh, it's like, man, do you understand what they're saying? Yeah, alright, good, that's it. You don't need to be a fucking douchebag about it. Because, let me tell you, let me tell you, I was that douchebag for many years correcting motherfuckers on their spelling, on their language, grammar, all kinds of shit. I would correct people. And then it just hit me one day. I was like, wow, I'm a fucking dick. And I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry I did that. Uh, back in the day, old J. Not new J, not even cool J. The J before cool J even happened. Um, so I went into Walmart because I've been scoping out these white, pretty much exactly the shelves that I have, but there's like a little more. I don't know, they're designed a little better. Uh, so there's three, do do do, and it's like a white shelving unit, and it's got these clear plastic bins that pull out. And I measured it, and it's actually the exact same size as the one that I built into here already. The only difference is that mine are on a slant so shit doesn't fall off when I'm driving and the one at Walmart wasn't, but I thought if I just built it up a little bit on the bottom with some foam, the whole thing would angle in anyways. And yeah, there's been stacks of these things in the back of this Walmart, hundreds of them and price tags, $8.99, $8.99, $8.99. And every day I look at them, I'm like, hmm, that would almost be a better shelving idea for in the van. And I was like, yeah, but I already spent all this money on the foam, and it's lightweight, and it's it's done, and it's got hippie fabric all over it. And I was like, oh, whatever, I'll see if I can keep doing this. Until today, when I went around a corner, and everything just fucking exploded. <laughs> and shit went flying everywhere in the back. All just the biggest mess ever. It took me like two hours to clean everything up and rebuild the shelves and put it all back together. Reinforce this time with more strength, power, with more elbow grease, with um, toothpicks. 
That's right. I put toothpicks in the foam to hold it like nails. I was like, nails might be too heavy. Nails might not do the trick that I want. Uh, I don't have a hammer, but a toothpick, I just like zoop, push them in, snapped off the other, they're double pointy ended toothpicks. So I snapped off the other pointy end and tapped them in a little with a piece of plastic, the end of a, an X-Acto blade, a box cutter. And so far so good. But I mean, I haven't driven anywhere yet, so we'll see what happens when shit starts moving. Uh, yeah, so that's been my big old exciting day. Oh, I worked. I worked. And uh, last night I parked in a new place that I've never parked at before. I was reading online that there's people who have been camped out there for about six months. And I drove by early, early in the morning at six in the morning. I drove by on a couple days. And yeah, every morning there's a slew of people living in this spot. And I'm just not going to say it in case the authorities are listening to this. Or if there's some snitchy little rat fucks watching this who are going to call up and be like, Yeah, they're parking over there. Mm, Those people should be paying rent like the rest of us. It's not fair. Well, guess what else isn't fair? Not having running water on hand not having heat on a button not having stove on a button you know what i think it's okay if people want to live in a boat or live in a car or in a van or whatever the fuck you want to live in you should be able to live in that shouldn't have to be in a place it's actually it's it's illegal just to sit in your fucking car you can't even just sit in your car in a park you can't even be parked on the street and just sit in your car it's fucking illegal. Everything's illegal about being in your car here. It's so weird. They just don't want people doing it. And I understand. I understand. I've seen it. Motherfuckers are dumping their shit buckets everywhere. People are just dumping their fucking garbage. They're very disrespectful. But I'm not. And you know what? I didn't do it. Therefore, why am I being... Why should I be punished for the mistakes of other people? I don't understand that. I still... I've talked about this before. How they say, like, oh, one bad apple spoils the bunch. Well, we're not fucking apples. We're humans. And one bad human doesn't make all the other humans bad. It doesn't work that way. So why punish all the humans when one human is bad? This is such a dumb idea. Uh, Yeah. So, like, fuck you if you don't think someone should live on a boat or live in a van or live in a a shoebox if they want to put a shoebox on the corner of the forest in a park and live in a shoebox they should be able to do that uh should be able to do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting someone as long as you're not affecting negatively affecting the environment ecological footprints and shit like that if you're not destroying shit it should be all right um but the moment you do i mean watch out i mean there should be yeah there should be repercussions for that shit and i think That everybody should deal with that. Like when all of us vannies see another motherfucking vanny doing some dumb shit. We need to approach that dude and be like, look, dude, don't fucking ruin this for us. What are you doing? Why are you dumping your shit bucket on the side of the road? That's not where it goes. There's a toilet right there, 10 feet away. Go dump your shit in the toilet and flush it. Don't use use the side of the road for your shit as your shit bucket dispensary. Uh, disposal, I guess. Uh, so, uh, I'm not mad. I'm not angry. It's just a, a, an annoying thing about society that they think that, that one bad apple ruins the bunch. Yeah, in apples. Maybe in pears and, and other things. But we're not fruit, man. We're fucking humans and we're people. And we don't spoil each other. We make each other better. That's what we do. By telling these motherfuckers stop dumping their shit buckets. Uh, what else? What else? What else, man? Getting up there in time. What else? Uh, uh, oh, the gym. Holy shit, dude. So, going to the gym. Uh, I couldn't walk yesterday. I couldn't walk anywhere. My legs were just like on fire, on jello. I was like walking like a penguin who shit his pants. Boom, 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 boom. Like, I felt like bending 
my, my knees aren't sore, but I felt like the act of bending my knees was causing other uh, calf muscles to work and thigh muscles to engage, and I could not do that. So I just had to keep them straight and just kind of waddle, boom, boom, boom. So I didn't go very, very far or do anything. And then, so yeah, I took yesterday off from gym activities, and then I'm going I'm to be back in there tonight, though, you know, getting that getting those muscle sets done diddly done because I got to do I gotta do the push we're back on push day again yeah so that's what's up everyone that's what's up hey oh yeah I was I was explaining before I got distracted by my rage that uh, I found a new place to park I'm not going to talk about it but it's really cool there's some uh, water you can look at there's a porta potty washroom that's not locked up uh, there's forest stuff. And, uh, yeah, I had been driving by early in the morning, scoping it out. Bunch of people are all parked there in the morning. I was like, oh, it's really early. Um, and my other trick is that I'm gonna get up and get out, get out of the spot I'm in before any city workers are around. Because these are the people who are going to come in to mow lawns and do maintenance and this is when bylaw comes around. All these people start working at the same time every morning. And if you can get away before they start, then they ain't going to fucking see you. And they ain't going to say shit. And they're not going to be writing your plates down. And I'm in a whole other jurisdiction right now. I'm in like another town. So I don't have to worry about that other shit that went down in Victoria. And I won't be parking anywhere in Victoria ever again. Uh, you know, it's shit like this that makes me want to like leave. It makes me want to like... Be like, fuck this place. Fuck people who won't, like, let people do things to survive and live. And I know I did this on purpose. So I know I'm a crazy person. And I know there's, like, actual crazy people who are just, like, mentally unstable or mentally unstable. And, and that's the reason why they lost their shit and everything crumbled. And now they're living in their car with a smashed out uh, windshield in the back uh, covered with... Uh, scotch tape and garbage bag and that's how they're living and it's like well yeah i understand you're down and out but guess what like some people are doing this on purpose for a reason like i watched hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos on ideas of what to do to convert this thing over and there's people everywhere doing this man it's not like a weird thing it's not even like odd there's so many people doing it there's people doing this and making a healthy living a healthy income because they don't got to pay rent and they got nicer setups than this uh they're sleeping in like rvs and shit and they're just torn around all the time what do you do oh I just, i'm a tourist i drive around look at things and take pictures and go places and then they do online work or some kind of shit i'm just trying to figure that out myself if anybody knows of any ideas of things i can do and do them in Canada because there's been a few things that I signed up for and I started doing the work and then it turns out like oh this is American only and I don't have my American bank account anymore I forgot I kind of like let it slip away and uh, so I can't receive those American funds anymore and yeah so I can't do a lot of those things that show up on, as online jobs and um I don't want to do laptop shit. I don't want to do graphic design. I don't want to do shit where I got to sit and click for fucking hours on end and get a hunchback and, and just be a clicker. Um, that's not going to work. Uh, so if you guys have ideas, if there's some kind of weird system or something that you know about, people who work remotely, who live remote. Uh, I just got another heat warning, so I'm going to shut this thing off and we'll pick it up later. Peace, love, and light. Namaste, and I like a noise. Goodbye. Ding, 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 ding.